Yo, what is going on guys? Huge shout out to Hut Puck Traders before we start the video, but I have an in-depth video for you on how to make pucks and several ways. I've seen other videos, people just going over one way, two ways, things like that. I have a few ways and I think these ways are very good. First way is going to the one hour mark or 59 minute mark and finding deals like this Raymond right here for 1k. A very, very good player who's worth around 4 or 5k and I got him for 1k and there's definitely a lot more deals you can get. The only negative about this strategy is it takes a very, very long time to get to the hour mark or 59 minute mark. But basically you get to the 59 minute mark or like 59 minutes and like 50 seconds or so. And you just keep transferring through the pages left and right. And the hour mark is usually what people put their players up for. So if someone puts a player up like a, let's say a Ryan Callahan for 1000 pucks, you know to get that for a good price because the player might not know that he's worth that like five or however much ryan callahan is worth at the time but basically you want to go there the second people are put listing their players up they may be listing them up at a not so correct price at the time and you can go in and steal them up but again the only negative there is it takes a very long time to get here it probably took me about 10 actual minutes to get to the 59 minute mark but once you were here you could just keep staying here refreshing the pages it does get sometimes frustrating because you may not see anything for a while but there are steals you can get i remember i got a one of the Ovechkins last year for a hundred and something thousand pucks. It was like one of the Winter Classic ones. I was just looking through the Winter Classic hour mark and I saw an Ovechkin go up for 160k and I bought him, which was unreal. But yeah, that's basically what you could do for here. There's nothing too insane this year. I mean, there are some things that are good. You could always, for me, buying the duration cards cheap right now the 15 game duration cards cheap right now under a thousand and i would just hold on to them because they definitely will rise in price as well as you could probably buy some captain cards for under 100 and just keep them until they rise because all these things will rise seeing and also the plus five for skater and goalie mainly the skater that will be two three thousand pucks i would assure you guys in about a month and if you can get one for 500 pucks a few of them for 500 just keep in your collection until it goes to two three four even 5k then that'll be huge as well as change teams and change positions both of those prices right now are pretty cheap if you can snag those up for fairly cheap and just hold on to them until the market rises which i'm sure in you guys it will those are really good strategies and now some of the easy ones which you're making instant pucks again these aren't that hard but you could put the buy now minimum maximum i meant to say to 600 pucks make sure it's on nhl and gold and what you do is you look for a rare gold player which right now we don't really see any but if you see a rare gold player they're worth at least 600 and i'm not exactly sure the exact price it's like 653 pucks something like that so if you could just buy them you can quick sell them you're making your pucks as well as showing you guys another way this one's a bit easier but if you drop the price to 300 by now there are many well there usually are people at the first i got a few of them for 300 pucks or 200 this guy 250 pucks again this isn't a lot of pucks but you're buying for 250 and you could literally quick sell him in a second for 22 more pucks which is not a lot but there are some times when people will put regular gold players you could quick sell for like 300 and like 40 and you could pay 200 for them those are just some sort of easy ways to i guess find and make pucks again you need to do that a lot but my best things were the 59 minute mark and buying all these consumables and stuff like that really cheap right now and just holding on to them and selling them for more and for me bidding is definitely a pretty good thing again it is really annoying and frustrating this game in my opinion so if you could bid and win the cards i think it's definitely a lot easier to win and bid the cards it's probably more frustrating this year but again more frustrating a lot of people won't bid so it gives you a better chance to bid on them but just some of these cards you could bid on and get at a pretty good price and then sell the cards for a lot more than they're actually worth and again a big strategy is right now a lot of these cards will probably be worth pretty cheap because everyone just got the game everyone's opening packs everyone's trying to sell all these players and that means there's just so much on the market that people are just going to list the cards cheaper and cheaper so my opinion would be to hold off on selling cards but just buying cards now again if you can't sell cards i don't know how you're gonna get your pucks but if you do buy packs and stuff like that and doing that way just buy a lot of pretty good players pretty cheap or you think pretty cheap and think you're gonna rise and just wait two, three, maybe four weeks, and their prices may rise a lot. Like seeing a Jason Spezza could have gotten for 20K. I don't know. To me, I feel like that guy's gonna be 40 or 50K in a few weeks. And that's just my opinion. You could get him in a, if you could try winning him in a bid, but that is pretty hard again. I just don't like the bidding system in this game. It's very frustrating. 
and I don't know if confusing is the right word, but like a 22K right there for Spets are pretty good. But again, those are just my suggestions and tips. I mean, there's nothing too insane here that's gonna automatically get you it, but just what I think. And the last collections in this game are no longer the same as the last year. You don't get pucks by doing it, so there's no puck farming or whatever. But this year, if you collect a team, you get, I believe from the NHL, you get five to 10 packs. I believe they're gonna be tradable, so that is pretty cool. But again, if you collect teams, you're getting free packs, you could pull things, you could get a pack, you could basically collect the team and get a million if you get like a Crosby or an Ovechkin, so that is pretty cool. Maybe work with people, you collect half the Devils, they collect half, and you just transfer with each other, and boom, you got a team. But those are all my ways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Kind of took a while, especially that 59 minute mark, and a like would definitely be appreciated, and a comment on what you think about it, and what other tips you guys have. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and I will see you guys later. I gotta stay